And Xavier is here from Timmy's One Bay. How you Good doing to see you morning? again. Welcome back. Thank and you. we have one of our favorites. Yep. Uh, lobster mac and cheese oh, we're making today. Goodness, it's good for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right, what do we got? All right, right here we've got some penne pasta we're going to cook off. Heavy cream. Lobster meat. A lobster claw. Uh, cracker crumbs that have been seasoned with a little bit of sherry and uh, paprika and parsley. This is tri-mix, which is basically uh, granulated garlic, salt, and black pepper. And a cheese blend, which is uh, Romano. Cheddar Jack, American provolone, and uh, Swiss. Now, why the lobster meat and then the lobster claw? Well, because after we're all done with the dish, we're going to put it together. We're going to make the mac and cheese. The lobster right. meat's going to go in it. Okay. This claw, we're actually going to sit on top of it. Oh. Yeah. It's like the cherry on top of the exactly. sundae. Exactly. Yeah. Awesome. Mac and cheese sundae. And Timmy's One Bay, uh, this is obviously your, a great time of year to go. I mean, any time of year, right? But this Absolutely. time of year, you guys are probably hopping. Absolutely. Um, we've got the just newly expanded deck. Yeah. Um, there is dock and dine. We have docks out back. Oh, so if you're on your best. boat, you can pull yeah. in, you know. Just come in, get off your boat, have some lunch, and... Uh, be on your way. All right. I can't wait to try this. Now, <clears throat> Elizabeth's going to be in here in the next segment, and she's been Welcome. thinking about this lobster mac and cheese since yesterday <laughs> when we found out you were coming in. So just do me a favor. Please hide some Absolutely. and save some for uh, me could, and the rest of the crew because she really likes this. We brought some extra today. We figured oh, everybody would want to try it. You're very so. popular today. Find the recipe online at foxprovidence.com. More from the kitchen in a bit, but for now, we'll send it back over to you. We're talking about dessert this morning because Timmy's One Day Ave actually, you guys actually like fly in your desserts, right? We, we use uh, this company called Bindi. It's an Italian importer. Mm -hmm. um, today with us we have their almond cream cake. Incredible. Which is, is, it looks very rich and very dense, but it's very light, very tasty. I'll be Please. the judge of that. Thank you very much. Let me see. Have at it. <laughs> Let me see. You're right. Oh, my gosh. That's a very apt description because I thought... There was going to be some resistance to my spoon here, but no, cuts right through, it's, like yeah, butter. Like butter. Mmm. Okay. Right, right, right. And now we have what they call a copa pina colada, which is a pineapple sorbet with a uh, pineapple, I'm sorry, coconut sorbet with a mm -hmm. pineapple sauce and mini chocolate chips on top. Do I get to try this one too? Absolutely. Yes. All right, I'm going to go way down to whatever this is at the bottom. What's that? The, That's the pineapple the sauce. The pineapple, okay. Oh my God. Oh, that is heaven. I really like that. Mm, very nice, especially Not, on a hot day. Especially on a hot day. You're absolutely right. Not to be outdone, though, you also bought a dessert wine. We did. Uh, once again, we've brought wine from Sheila Lara, which mm -hmm. is a local vineyard and winery out of Coventry. And, you know, we actually got emails the last time you were here about Sheila Lara because there was a strawberry wine, a strawberry white wine that you brought along. Riesling, on. yep. And that Riesling, uh, I absolutely loved it. It was light. You could get the essence of strawberry. And people, um, I think, uh, w went out and got it afterwards because we got a lot of emails. Excellent. Well, and, I'm going to try this one. Tell me what this sure. one is. Sure. This is the uh, Vital Glacier wine. Okay. Uh, called Ambrosia. It's uh, very sweet. It's a dessert it's wine. It's very, very sweet. Yeah. Goes very nice with your dessert or for dessert. I like that. Um, tropical fruit, a little peach, a little honey. Flavors, undertones. Most important meal of the day, in my, in my opinion. Well, I, that's why we started with this, and later on we'll get to dinner. <laughs> well, good. We're going to do that in just a moment. In the meantime, foxprovidence.com is the place to go for the recipe and ingredients. We have an emergency in the kitchen. What do you do? Burp, burp, burp. I want to eat this right now, but I've been told I can't until after we make it. But you already did in the commercial break. Yes. So, unfortunately... Way to call me out. And you can look over here. Maybe you can see the evidence of what uh, Elizabeth has already eaten. Uh, there's a piece missing right or about... Or several. There, over there. In any event. Yeah, let's, let's see how we get to that point. All right. Well, in the saucepan right now, we have our heavy cream, our cheese blend, our seasoning, and our lobster. What meat. makes up the cheese blend here? The cheese blend is actually uh, cheddar jack, Swiss, American, Romano, and provolone. So is this and a five cheese lobster mac and cheese? Basically, yes. <laughs> I'm trying to... Yeah, that, good. I'm, I'm, good I'm guessing at yeah. five, yeah. Okay. And, and so you've got, you, you put in some heavy cream, and that gives it kind of liquefies it as you heat it up. Yep. And then uh, you boil the lobster and really chunked up some... I mean, this is not frozen pieces of lobster. No. This is great. Yep. Very nice. Gotcha. So there's the sauce. What's the next step? All right. Well, we let this melt and come together. We're going to take our pasta and get that nice and hot. Okay. And get our dish ready because once this pasta comes out, we're just going to toss it with this sauce. Now, did, did you tell Elizabeth about what you put on top of the lobster mac and cheese when it's finished yet? Did you tell I might her? have a heart attack, but go ahead. Well, uh, we find a nice little piece of lobster claw like little. this. <gasps> nice. And put that right it's on like top. like an arm. I have to tell you, these portion sizes are nothing to sniff at. You, see you know what I mean? Because a lot of places, because you're using lobster, and that can fluctuate in price, a lot of places, you know, they kind of skimp a little bit, or they have a smaller portion, or they only have it as an appetizer. But you guys have this as a full meal. That, yep, that is actually one of our specialty dishes, a signature dish we started for this summer. 
Very nice. How have things been? I imagine you guys are hopping over there since you have the outdoor seating. Absolutely. Drive up yeah. with your boat, right? Yep. yep. We have yeah. the dock and dining. How, we have how the, uh, awesome the slips. would that be? Drive up with the boat and then eat any lobster mac and cheese. Heaven. <laughs> That's my perfect day. All right. So the penne is done. And our sauces come together. All the cheese is melted. It's reduced and thickened. Cheese is melted. Yeah. Okay. okay. Lobster, lobster pasta is in there. Now Here comes I, the pasta. Boom. Let me just get rid of that. Oh man, look at how it bubbles with deliciousness. While you guys are doing that, I'm going to sit over here and do uh, my ab workout. <laughs> yes, please <laughs> to do. To try and okay. get ready yeah. for Yeah, get going. Get lobster going mac on and that. cheese. Melissa Rector is probably watching now. She'll be very proud. Yeah, the folks at Gold's Gym are just like, Patrick, don't. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to. we got to get it. them down here to try it. That's they all. do. And actually, you know, Melissa Rector is good about this. She says, listen, every once in a while, a little indulgence is not going to hurt you. And let me tell you, this is not hurting Is that a little anymore. indulgence right there, or is that a lot of indulgence? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. It's looking good. It's worth it either way. Here we go. Here we go. All right. I'm going to put the claw on top. We're going to thumb the wrestle. Claw. You and I are going to thumb the wrestle. Claw. It's going to get you. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have our seasoned cracker crumbs. Ooh, what's oh, in the cracker crumbs? Nice. It's uh, ri like a Ritz cracker with uh, sherry, parsley, a little bit of Romano cheese. Sherry wine? Yes. Oh, very nice. And not to be outdone, it's not over there, folks. Oh, there's more. Now he pops it in the oven, right? Yep. Kind of crisp it up. We crisp up the top, get the cheese to melt, that brown it up good. a little bit, and this is what the final result looks like. Oh, my gosh. Now, Patrick, I'm going to pass you over a fork. Where's the lobster? Uh, oh, it's in there. Claw. It's right on top. This one right on top under the crumbs. Oh, okay. Don't hide it. <laughs> I'll give you a little well, it keeps piece it from here. drying out for us. I also oh, want to I mention see, yeah. about the desserts that you have because uh, I'm going to have Patrick try the desserts as well because they were delicious and you guys have them imported. You've got a great wine list over there at Timmy's One Bay Ave. So a little bit of everything because you have you've got land lubber fare, seafood. Look at Patrick; he's very happy. It's much better than the mac and cheese I make my kids. <laughs> I'm going to go right in for the claw. just a little bit. Sorry to interrupt you. Did, why? Because you just ate the lobster claw. You are I unbelievable. Did. I was getting this ready for you. You are. Badger. Go ahead, have it. All right, good. You really. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got one coming out of the oven in a minute, anyway. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> that means she likes it. <laughs> Excellent. That is really good. What were you guys saying about your restaurant? <laughs> how awesome it is. Oh. <laughs> Now I lost track. That's okay. That's all right. I'll just keep eating until you figure out where you're So uh, <laughs> this is on the the, summer, the, the the menu, outdoor, indoor, doesn't matter, summer, uh, all seasons. Doesn't the, matter, yep. All right. The, uh, the menu is... Hours, seven seasons. days a week? Seven days a week this time of year yep. in the winter. Uh, we basically shut down on Mondays, so we're there at least six days a week during the winter, and all summer we're there seven days a week. We open at 11.30 every day except for Sunday when we open at noon and close at 10 or 11 respectively. And what's nice is the name is also the address, so you won't forget to be one, one day have. 